Thank you for watching part three of our knife making videos. Today we're going to talk about just uh, kind of doing the bevel and getting the blade ready for heat treat. As you can see, we're using a 40 grit belt. 40 grit's good because it just kind of takes off a lot of material. And here's the jig, our handmade jig. What we use to make that is a two by two piece of angle iron with about a half inch piece of angle iron that we used on the back for the lift of the angle. We just welded that right to that piece of angle. We're just gonna clamp that blade to the jig so we can just try to keep everything consistent while we're working. Throughout this process, we probably used a, a couple different types of belts. Started out with a 40, and then after we get the basic bevels cut, we move on to maybe like a 120, just to get out the deep scratches. And then I usually keep it about the, the, the edge, about the thickness of a dime because the blade still has to go into the heat treat and it could warp, so I don't want to make it too thin. Too sharp and pointy at this point might not be good. Just work one side, then move on to the other. a little tricky it's a little tricky for me just to try to get the bevels right I need more practice obviously for sure but it's um, you see there's definitely some technique to it even with a jig imagine if I was using thinner steel I wouldn't have to use a jig but because the steel is thicker it just seems to leave a nice bevel now we're going to take take our knife over to the vise and we're going to put a little nice little notch between the blade and the hand guard just to make a nice little really nice little transition between the two as we move along with the finishing of the knife all this will look a lot smoother a lot more even a lot more nice a little more a little more polished. It kind of gives you an idea of the direction we're going with this. After we put the notch in, I'm going to take it over to the knife sharpening jig that we made. and put a nice little edge on it with a file. Later I'll do a video on this jig. It's kind of our own little, our own little rig, we kind of made up, works really well. Before the heat treat, we can use a file Trying to get it down, work the edge down to make it a little more sharp. After the steel's been hardened, we're still going to take it down a little more. So this edge we just put on could disappear a little bit. I just want to kind of 
file that down so there's not so much to do after it's been heat treated. So thank you all for watching. If you get a chance, um, like the video and subscribe to our channel. Shortly we'll be posting videos of uh, some artwork we've been working on and some more of our tattoos that we do. Like I said, we, we do, we work in all types of medium, media. We don't just do tattoos, we also do graphic design work, web design work, painting, and I've been messing around with doing some nice. So thank you for watching and look out for part four. In part four, we're going to be doing the heat treat and stamping our logo. Thanks for watching.